Welcome to the season of self-love, your daily dose of inspiration and encouragement. I'm your host, Naomi Banks, and I am thrilled to be here with you today. This podcast is brought to you by Ask Naomi and Elevate Me Self-Discovery. Are you ready to elevate your mindset and embrace the power of self-love? Or have you come to the right place? Each day we'll dive into topics that will empower and inspire you on your journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. Whether you're looking to cultivate healthy relationships, boost your confidence, or find balance in your life, this podcast is here to support your every step of the way. We believe that self-love is the foundation of living a fulfilled and joyful life. And together we explore practical tips, insightful interviews, and transformative stories that will leave you feeling inspired and motivated. So join me Monday through Friday as we embark on this daily adventure of self-love. Tune in to the Season of Self Love podcast to start your day on a positive note and discover the limitless potential within yourself. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is Friday, December 15, 2023. And hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome back to the Season of Self Love podcast. I am your host, Naomi Banks, and today we will be diving into a very powerful aspect of our journey. We're going to be cultivating willpower. We're power on our path to self-love. So let's explore how this inner strength will transform our lives. So we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back. And then we're going to talk about understanding willpower. And then we're going to identify some areas on requiring what willpower is in self-love. As well as strategy of strengthening willpower and overcoming real power roadblocks. And then we're going to end the show with a nice guided meditation all right it is friday i hope you guys are ready for the weekend we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back it's your girdy goddess naomi banks here on the season of self love podcast hey it's your girdy goddess naomi banks and make sure you tune in every thursday night to ask naomi bridging the gap podcast where we talk about everything from love sex relationship cultural differences and so much more by bridging the gap between them all. And we even talk about spiritual uplifting. You need to stop by me and Darkon Mike Mike, as well as the BTG crew. We have some amazing guests that come through. You never know. Just make sure you tune in Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to AskNaomi.com and tell them Naomi sent you. I often find myself feeling stuck in my life and like I'm not reaching my full potential. But with Elevate Me, self-discovery, I've been able to tap into my inner self and discover what I truly want out of life. Elevate Me, self-discovery is an incredible program that combines video learning, self-help, and amazing audio to guide you through a journey of self-discovery. From feeling freedom and guided meditation to self-love and empowerment, this program is perfect for anyone looking to unlock their full potential. Don't let life pass you by. All right, well, welcome back. It's your girl, Yadis Nami Banks here on the Season of Self Love. And today's topic is willpower. We're talking about cultivating willpower on this self love journey. Yes, and we're going to start off by understanding what willpower is. But first, let's start it off with um, a, a nice breathing and stretch, stretching exercise, all right? All right, so what I want you to do is just sit very comfortably, whether you're in a chair or wherever, and I want your feet flat to the floor and your hand resting on your lap. Okay, I want you to take a deep breath in your nose and expanding your belly as you inhale, and I want you to count to four as you breathe in slowly. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath for a moment. Now I want you to exhale slowly through your mouth, counting to six as you release the air. Imagine tension releasing and leaving your body with each exhale. Okay, repeat that deep breath in. Yes, do it a few more times. Out, yes. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, one more time. Inhale in. One, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale slowly. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Great. All right, now I want you to put your fingers together. Okay, now I want you to stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. And I want you to lengthen your spine. Now I want you to take a deep breath in as you stretch. Now feeling a gentle expansion in your chest and your shoulders. Now as you exhale slowly, lower your arms, bringing them back down to your lap. Now relax your shoulders and let go any tension. Now inhale deeply. Gently tilt your head to the right. Feel a little stretch along, along the left side of your neck. All right, hold for a few. All right, now exhale and bring your head back to the center. Now once you inhale again and tilt your head to the left, stretching the right side of your neck. I want you to hold for a few seconds. All right, now I want you to exhale, and I want you to return your head to the center and take a moment to notice the sensation in your neck and your shoulders. Okay, finally, I want you to take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, gently rotate your shoulders forward, then upward, then backwards in a circular motion. And I want you to repeat this. Yes. Yes. And now I want you to return your so shoulders to a relaxed position. And take a final deep breath in and out. And letting go any remaining tension. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about understanding willpower. Willpower is the ability to resist short-term temptation. So in order for, for us to meet those long-term goals, it's very crucial of a component of our personal growth and self-improvement. So let's connect the dots between willpower and self-love and understanding how they support each other. So with willpower and self-love, um, they are in interconnected and they can support each other in a powerful way. And I'm going to share with you on how they can relate and how they can work hand in hand with each other. First of all, it's enhancing self-love with willpower. Now, with willpower, it's the ability to make conscious choices and take intentional action towards our goals. And when we have self-love, we value ourselves and prioritize our well-being. And willpower can be used to make a lot of choices that will align with self-love, such as setting boundaries practicing self-care and making decisions that support our physical and mental and emotional health. So for example, if you have a goal of prioritizing your self-care by exercising regularly, regularly, willpower, willpower can help you to overcome resistance and stay committed to your exercise routine. So recognizing and valuing the benefits of exercise for your overall well-being is an act of self-love. And by Exercising consistently, you are demonstrating self-love through your actions. And next is strengthening willpower with self-love. On the other hand, self-love can fuel our willpower and can make it easier to stick to our goals and commitments. And when we have a deep sense of self-worth and self-acceptance, we are more likely to believe in our ability and to achieve our goal and persevere through any challenges. Self-love provides us with the motivation and self-confidence needed to sustain our willpower. So when we are truly love ourselves, we understand that our goals are worth pursuing and that we deserve to invest time and effort in achieving them. So this self-belief and self-compassion can reinforce our willpower and make it easier to overcome obstacles and setbacks along the way. And last is cultivating both. It's important to note that both willpower and self-love can be developed and strengthened over time. Just like building muscles, consistent practice is the key. Regularly engaging in self-reflection. 
setting meaningful goals, and taking intentional actions that are aligned with what your self-love is. It will strengthen, it will help strengthen your willpower and foster deeper sense of self-love. So remember that self-love is not about perfection or always about being motivated. Remember yesterday we talked about it's the progress. It's about accepting yourself fully and embracing your imperfections and being kind and compassionate towards yourself. So when you combine self-love and willpower, you create a powerful foundation for personal growth, resilience, and well-being. So again, remember, it's about focusing on the progress, not the perfection. All right? We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back. And then we're going to talk about identify areas um, that requiring willpower in self-love, all right? It's your girl, you got us, Naomi Banks, here on this season of self-love. And we'll be right back. I often find myself feeling stuck in my life and like I'm not reaching my full potential. But with Elevate Me, self-discovery, I've been able to tap into my inner self and discover what I truly want out of life. Elevate Me, self-discovery is an incredible program that combines video learning, self-help and amazing audio to guide you through a journey of self-discovery. From feeling freedom and guided meditation to self-love, and empowerment. This program is perfect for anyone looking to unlock their full potential. Don't let life pass you by. Welcome to the Season of Self-Love podcast with Naomi Banks, where every day is a chance to embrace self-discovery and personal growth. Join Naomi on a transformative journey, streaming exclusively on Spotify and Raker. With daily episodes from Monday through Friday, podcast is your daily dose of inspiration motivation, and self-love. Dive deep into engaging conversations about self-care, mindfulness, and personal development. Naomi brings you expert insights, practical tips, and uplifting stories from thought leaders in the field. Embark on a journey of self-discovery and unlock the power of self-love. Mark your calendars and tune in to the Season of Self-Love podcast, available every weekday on Spotify and Spreaker. Remember, it's time to prioritize yourself and embrace the beautiful season of self-love. Get inspired and join Naomi Banks on the Season of Self-Love podcast. Well, welcome back. It's your girl, goddess Naomi Banks here on the Season of Self-Love podcast. And today we are talking about willpower, cultivating willpower on our self-love journey. And in the first segment, we talked about understanding willpower and how they connect with willpower and self-love. We were connecting the dots. But also, I want to um, remind you what's the importance of willpower on our self-love journey. Because willpower is very essential for our self-love, and it helps us to overcome certain obstacles and make positive life changes. Whether it's sticking to healthy habits or setting boundaries, willpower is our ally in nurturing our well-being. So right now, I want to help identify areas um, that require willpower in your self-love. Because, you know, we all face uh, different challenges in our lives, our self-love journey that tests our willpower. And it could be maintaining a healthy lifestyle or managing stress or even just being kind to ourselves. So I want to discuss some of the challenges and how we can navigate through them um, how we can navigate through them, all right? Um, <clears throat> on our self-love journey, excuse me, there can be several challenges that we that test our willpower. And I'm going to share with you a few common ones. And then I'm going to share with you some strategies on how we can navigate through them. Let's start off with that negative self-talk. You know, that negative self-talk. Negative self-talk, it can chip away at our self-love and diminish our motivation. So to navigate this challenge, it's essential to develop awareness of your inner dialogue. Pay attention to what you are saying to yourself. So when you catch yourself engaging in negative self-talk, consciously replace those thoughts with positive affirmations or reminders of your self-worth. And practice compassion and treat yourself with kindness just as you would treat a friend. And as we spoke, well, I believe it was last week, or even earlier this week, it's been a long week, that even in that moment when you have those negative um, thoughts and negative minds, figure out what that is that triggers you. Write a, um, 
make a journal, a negative thought journal, a bad, bad thoughts journal. You understand what I'm saying? And so you can figure out what is that and, and why is it triggering those, those thoughts and where are they coming from? Our next one is comparing yourself to others. The habit of comparing ourselves to others can undermine self-love and erode, and erode our confidence. Remember that everyone's journey is unique and it's important to focus on your own progress rather than comparing yourself to others. And celebrate your achievements no matter how small and cultivate gratitude on your own journey. But also remember that, that abundance is for everyone. There is enough, there is enough out there for everyone and remember that we're all unique. So just because she or he is doing what you're doing, it's not the same. Because the way that you would do it would be totally different from the way they, that they're doing it. Do you, you understand that? Setbacks and failures. Setbacks and failures are inevitable in any journey. And we speak about this every day. Including a self-love journey, instead of letting setbacks discourage you, view them as opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace the growth mindset and send and see failures as stepping stones towards your ultimate goals. Reflect on what you can learn from those setbacks and how you can adjust your approach by moving forward. Remember, use use those failures and those setbacks as tools. Remember we talked about that early, th throughout the week? Use those as tools to better enhance either your career or your business. Use them as experiences. External validation. Relying too heavily on external validation can be challenged to your self-love. Seek validation from within yourself rather than constantly seeking approval from others and engage in self-reflection and identify your values, your passions, and your strength. And also make choices that align with your own truth and inner desires, rather than seeking validations from others. And another one is self-care neglect. Self-care neglect is one of the common challenges that we have to test our willpower. And by neglecting self-care, we can deplete our energy and make it difficult to ma maintain our self-love by prioritizing self-care activities that nourish our mind, body, and soul. That might include regular exercise and healthy eating, a quality of sleep, relaxation techniques, and engaging hobbies that bring you joy and make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine. So remember, self-love is a continuous journey and it requires patience, practice, and self-compassion. So be gentle with yourself and allow yourself to evolve at your own pace. And then if you think about it, today's topic is really is just kind of like we did last week. It's just wrapping everything up that we spoke about this week. And with willpower, it's just knowing that we are tested in a lot of things. And a lot of things is getting through it. It's understanding what those tests are. Do you understand? So even if you can take each, excuse me, each episode of this week as tools to use to strengthen your willpower. That is an amazing, amazing thing for your self-love journey. All right, let's take a quick break and then we're going to come back and then we're going to talk about strategies on how to strengthen your willpower. All right, it's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks here on the season of self-love and we'll be right back. Are you ready to kickstart your journey to a healthier, more fulfilling life? Introducing Good Morning My Sexy People, 90 Days to Kick Off Your Healing Living Journal by Naomi Banks. This transformative journal is your personal guide to achieving physical, mental, and emotional well-being. With its easy-to-follow prompts and powerful exercises, you'll embark on a 90-day healing journey like no other. Each morning, as you open the pages of this journal, you'll discover thought-provoking questions uplifting affirmations, and space to reflect on your progress. It's your secret weapon to breaking free from old patterns and embracing a healthier, sexier you. Say goodbye to self-doubt and hello to self-love. Good Morning My Sexy People will empower you to make positive changes every single day. You'll develop healthy habits, cultivate gratitude, and unlock your true potential. Whether you're seeking to improve your fitness, boost your confidence, 
or find inner peace, this journal is your trusted companion. It's the support system you need to stay motivated, focused, and inspired throughout your journey. Don't wait another day to start living your best life. Good morning, my sexy people. 90 days to kick off. Your Healing Living Journal by Naomi Banks is available now on Amazon. Grab your copy today and begin your transformation. Remember, it's time to prioritize yourself, set your intentions, and unleash the sexy, vibrant person within. Get your copy of Good Morning, My Sexy People today and let the healing begin. All right, welcome back. It's your girl, the goddess Nami Banks here on the Season of Self Love podcast. And today we're talking about willpower, cultivating willpower in your self love journey. And right now we're going to talk about strategies for strengthening willpower. And I'll share some effective strategies to boost your willpower from setting clear goals to forming positive habits and shifting your mindset. And these tip, tips can help you to build your willpower muscles. Well, you know, boosting willpower and setting clear goals can be challenging, but there are strategies that you can use to strengthen your willpower muscles. And here are some very effective techniques that you can use. You can first start with small achievable goals. Um, break down your big goals into smaller manageable tasks. And this helps build momentum and gives you a sense of accomplishment which boosts willpower. So we talk about um, breaking down our goals quite often and we will continue to so you can be reminded that there are always steps to it. It's always growth. You know, as when we are little, when we're young and we're babies, we first learn how to crawl before we walk. And I know some people say, well, you know, some people get up walking. All right, let me let me be honest. My my third um, daughter, she really didn't crawl. She had one one leg that she was dragging, <laughs> and one you know, and just one leg. So no, she wasn't crawling, but she wasn't doing a complete walk. So she had to start somewhere, and that's how we have to look at progress in our life, especially if we're working on a project, and even with going through this self love journey, is knowing that it's not going to be an overnight thing especially if we we are known to be a certain way, if this is who we have been for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, that we have to retrain our mindset and understand that there will be setbacks, but now we just have to understand how to respond to those setbacks. So in that will setting your goals is think of it like that. Think of smaller then, you know, once you complete that one, then go on to the next. Then once you complete that one, then go on to the next from there and celebrate each one of them. The next one is develop a routine and stick to it. Establishing a daily routine helps create structure and discipline and set aside specific times for activities that continue to your goals, such as exercise, studying and practicing a skill. And I know for a long time. I wasn't disciplined at all. It was like, I will just do. I'll have a set of goals that I will have. I used to always have like a five-year plan. Every five years, I'll make a five-year plan. And I just knew those goals had to be done in those five years. I didn't have a set time on like, you know, what 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 is what. But when I look at it, sometimes it was kind of chaotic. Kind of like I was all over the place. And then sometimes those goals that I had, they were complete, but they didn't go beyond that, if that makes sense. It didn't go beyond that. So now what I do is I do have a daily routine to to help with my structure, you know, to help make sure that even on the business aspect of it, that I have, that everything is put in order that everything has a structure, that we have goals that we're going to, you know, that we meet, and we're going to work that until that goal is met. The next one is use positive reinforcement. Reward yourself when you're successful. Complete a task. When you successfully complete a task and reach a milestone. This can be something small like treating yourself to a favorite snack or taking a break to do something enjoyable, but celebrate your progress, and it will definitely boost your motivation. Practice self-care. We talk about that all the time. And build habits. Habits that can be powerful for increasing your willpower. Identify those habits that align your goals with work and incorporating 
them all into a daily routine. So these are, as a reminder, these are some things that I'm talking about boosting your willpower and setting clear goals. Surround yourself with supporting people and as well as practice mindfulness. Mindfulness techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises that can help improve self-awareness and self-control. And it can also help you to identify and overcome distractions or urges that may be derail your progress. So I want you to remember building, building willpower is a gradual process. And it's important to be patient with yourself and embrace the journey of self-improvement by implementing these strategies consistently so you can strengthen your willpower muscles and achieve your goals. Yes, so you can achieve your goals. All right, so I'm going to do one more. I'm going to talk about one more thing, and then after that, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back, and then we're going to do a, a guided meditation. But before that, we're going to talk about overcoming overcoming willpower roadblocks. Overcoming willpower roadblocks. And, you know... um, you know, we encounter a lot of roadblocks and we call them setbacks or whatever you want to call it that, you know, a lot of times it dampens our willpower and I'll guide you through some common hurdles and other advice that, you know, on staying committed to those self-love goals and, you know, staying committed to our goals and maintaining willpower. It can be very hard, challenging, <sighs> but here are some hurdles that can dampen your willpower along the way. And I advise you how to start, um, stay committed. Temptation and cravings. That one right there, I am waving my flag to, yes, I am so guilty of that. We often face temptation and cravings that can derail our def- that efforts. So stay committed. It's important to anticipate these challenges and have a plan in place. Identify those triggers. Develop develop strategies to navigate them, such as finding healthier alternatives for practicing distraction techniques and keep your long-term goals in mind and remind yourself for the reason of why you want to stay committed. Remember those whys. Lack of motivation. There may be times when motivation is so weary, making it harder to stay committed. In these situations, it can be helpful to reconnect with your underlying purpose and passion. So remind yourself on what inspired you to set this goal in the first place and then visualize the benefits that you experience by staying committed and surround yourself with positive people, friends, loved ones that will, you know, acknowledge but also make you accountable for the choices and decisions that you made, that you make in this journey and will help you along the way with that. Overwhelm and stress. Feeling overwhelmed and stressed can drain our willpower and make it difficult to stay committed. But we need to prioritize our self-care. Practice to manage stress levels, such as getting enough sleep, eating well and exercising and engaging in relaxation and techniques. Once again, meditation and deep breathing. I'm so happy that now I've implemented deep breathing to our shows every morning. Not only does it help you, but it helped me too. Because sometimes I do forget. Sometimes I do forget. I get on this clock, bam, in my life. It goes, goes, goes. And I don't take time out to do those breathing exercises before I get overwhelmed. A lack of accountability. Without accountability, we cannot We cannot do anything. It can be very easy to slip up and lose focus. So that's where we have to take that accountability. Find ways to hold ourselves accountable, such as setting specific deadlines, tracking your progress. So remember when I said that I have that five-year plan. I write everything down, that five-year plan, but I never set goals within that five-year plan. Does that make sense? So even so, I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this business. I'm going to open this business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this gig. I'm going to get this gig. But I never thought about what those goals were and went beyond that. 
and would be now I do it now. And we talk about this all the time, the negative talk, um, the negative self-talk. Navigate self-talk and we know just, you know, replace that with positive, positive affirmations. Positive thoughts, positive visions, positivity. And remember why you are doing all of this. Remember why you are doing, why you are going through this self-love journey. I don't remember if it was yesterday or day before yesterday or finding out what self-love means to you. And how does it relate for you? And how do you want it to show up in you and for you? All right. So this is going to do. We'll take a quick break and then we're going to come back. And then we're going to end this Friday with a, a beautiful um, guided meditation that I, I have for us. All right. It's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks here on this season of self-love. And we'll be right back. Hey, 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 this is Dog Pound Mike Mike from Ask Naomi Bridging the Gap Podcast. Come check us out every week. And remember, I'm no relationship expert. I just tell it like I hear from the camera. Get back at it. Welcome to the Season of Self-Love Podcast with Naomi Banks, where every day is a chance to embrace self-discovery and personal growth. Join Naomi on a transformative journey, streaming exclusively on Spotify and Raker. With daily episodes from Monday through Friday, podcast is your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and self-love. Dive deep into engaging conversations about self-care, mindfulness, and personal development. Naomi brings you expert insights, practical tips, and uplifting stories from thought leaders in the field. Embark on a journey of self-discovery and unlock the power of self-love. Mark your calendars and tune in to the Season of Self-Love podcast, available every weekday on Spotify and Spreaker. Remember, it's time to prioritize yourself and embrace the beautiful season of self-love. Get inspired and join Naomi Banks on the Season of Self-Love podcast. Welcome back. It's your girl, the goddess, Naomi Banks here on the Season of Self-Love and the topic for today is willpower, cultivating willpower on your self-love journey. And um, it's time for us to do a meditation. Um, we talked about today's topic. We talked about, you know, everything that we talked about throughout the week. We just kind of just brought it all full circle. And now we're going to put a nice little bow, bow on this package and send you on your way. So what I want you to do, I want you to get comfortable right now. Um, as we begin um, this meditation, all right? Begin by finding a comfortable position, either sitting or lying down. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to take a deep breath in, filling your lungs with fresh air. And then I want you to exhale slowly, letting go of any tension or stress you may be holding on to. Now, as you continue to breathe deeply, bring your attention to the center of your being, to that place within you where your willpower resides. Now feel the energy and strength that emanates from this space. I want you to visualize a bright and glowing light within you, representing your willpower. All right? Now see that light growing brighter and stronger with each breath you take, radiating throughout your entire body. Now I want you to imagine yourself faced with a situation that challenges your willpower. Visualize it clearly in your mind and notice any emotions or sensation that arise. Now as you observe this situation, remind yourself of your goals and intentions, okay? Now bring your mind to reason why it is important for you to stay committed. Now take a moment to connect with the sense of inner determination. I want you to feel the fire of resilience and strength within you. That you are ready to face any obstacles that come your way. Now, now I want you to repeat the following transform affirmations 
silently or out loud, allowing their power to seep deep inside your subconscious mind. I am strong and capable of overcoming challenges. I have the willpower necessary to achieve my goals. I am fully committed to my path and I will not waver. I want you to picture yourself successfully navigating through the challenge, staying true to your commitments and maintaining your willpower. I want you to take a few more deep breaths Inhaling strength, and I want you to exhale doubts or fears. Yes, inhaling strength and exhaling any doubts or fears. I feel a renewed sense of motivation and determination flowing through your entire being. Now, when you're ready, gently bring your awareness back to the present moment. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Feeling the connection between your body and the ground beneath you. I want you to carry this sense of empowering willpower with you throughout the day, knowing that you have the strength and the determination to stay committed to your goals. Now open your eyes and take a moment to express gratitude for the willpower within you. And remember, the more you practice this meditation, the stronger your willpower will become. I want to thank you again for continuing to share this space with me today as well as this week. And, you know, this self-love journey, it can be very challenging, but it is definitely a very amazing experience. And I want you all to reflect on your own willpower. Take a, Talk about and think about the areas in your life where you can strengthen it and steps towards your goals. Again, I want to thank you for this journey and your presence and your commitment. Your commitment to this self-love means the world. You understand? So I want you to stay tuned for our next episode where you can continue. We can continue to explore the beautiful path of self-love. Until then, keep loving yourself. Keep believing in yourself. And have a beautiful and safe weekend. i see you on Monday. Thank you for listening to the Season of Self Love podcast. If you have any questions or would like to connect with us, you can follow us on social media. Just search for the Season of Self Love on Instagram. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to email us at elevateme9999 at gmail.com. And remember, you are worthy of love, growth, and happiness. So keep shining bright. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the season of self-love. Be good to one another in yourselves and always keep it sexy. Send a light, love, and prayer.